What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mike with another review of a Boss 25 semi-automatic 12 gauge shotgun. Um, overall thought of the looks and everything is really nice. They did it off of a AR-15 platform. So it's like an AR, uh, I guess, uh, I think they call it an AR-12. Um, but the only reason I picked it up is because I just like the idea of a 12 gauge, you know, semi-automatic 12 gauge. And I mean, if you just take a quick little look at it, it's a really, really nice built rifle um this right here on the end of the stock this is adjustable as you can see right here they got these little little uh screw things let me see if i can get this right i haven't really used it before um but yeah i've used it one time but um the factory setting it's not that bad you know just where your your cheek rest will be not really sure how it works just yet but um we have uh, shot this rifle a few uh, a little bit of time not that much um i believe two mags which uh when when you get this it comes with uh two round uh two round two mags five round mags uh the only thing that um that concerned me when we were shooting this is it jammed on it jammed twice on each once on each mag and um the when you open the box it had this it had this uh paper in there like a warning talking about um try to get at least about 50 rounds out of the rifle you know to set the barrel in and everything i don't know if that's that was the issue i'm not sure i've seen other reviews on this rifle of people shooting it they don't really have that many issues uh they got 10 round mags I believe a 50 round mag as well but um now the 10 round mags and stuff like that i've seen people you know have jams with them here and there but uh when when this was firing let me see if i could get this better when it was injecting the next one there's a hook right here on the bolt and that hook would catch on these shells I'm not sure if the shells is the issue, um, maybe because it has like a plastic, it's, this is a plastic coating, so that, that little metal metal point would uh, dig into this and then, you know, it would jam. Um, you'll see that in the end of the video when we were shooting it, you can, t you can hear me say, you know, uh, are you still recording because we had to cut the video, you know, get the last round out. Um, but overall, on the looks, and the feel of it, I mean, it feels really nice. You do have these uh, pop-up sights. That is one, one plus I, I can give it. Uh, really nice. Um, not a huge fan of it, but um, but you know, dude, you know, you got you got the little small peephole, and then if you fold this down, well, this just clicks over. Oh yeah, you just pop this down like that and then you got a bigger people but um like i said i haven't we haven't really used this rifle that much um just just once uh with two round uh two round i keep saying two round two mags uh it does have a safety it does have a safety in the fire on this side right here right there and the trigger the trigger is pretty pretty reasonable Tight trigger to it. You can see right there. Get it one more time. Yeah, it doesn't have that much of a travel. Um, the reason, I guess, the reason I really like this one is being that it's off of a AR-15. You know, has an AR-15 style. Um, there's a few accessories you could do, like at the end right here. You can put a uh, like a flashlight, laser, or whatever you like. Or you could go with a scope. Um, however, this I don't know. With uh, I'm not too familiar with uh, 12 gauge shotguns and stuff like that. But I will say, with this one, this is a double off buck that we were shooting, and it had a pretty nasty kick, left a bruise on the shoulder a little bit. But um, but it was off. It was all fun. Now they it also comes with these uh, screw in chokes, as you can see right here. This isn't the one that that was uh that was in it, in the rifle when I got it, but that's a uh, that's a, that's one right there. You got a few cylinders here, 
you know, the improve, modify, full open. You got them all right here. This comes in this little pack right here. You got the little wrench thing right there. Um, the one that was in here, I believe it was a full choke, I believe. Yeah, I believe it was a full choke that was in here when I got it. Um, now, if you're precise about the, you know, the coating and everything like that, I will say that it, well, it is a matte finish, um, matte black finish. It is really, you know, you get scratched up a lot. Um, that's when I get it, have it in the safe. I do have a, a little cover that I put over the barrel because some, sometimes they're rub against the other rifles and, you know, this one is the main one that gets scratched up. But, um, but overall, it's a nice gun. Uh, reliability, um, as of now, I'm not going to give it the re reliability check yet, being that, you know, I haven't really shot it that much. I shot a few times. It was fun to shoot. But, you know, besides those two jams that it had, uh, but yeah, um, overall, this is a really, really, really nice rifle. And I also wanted to add in saying that, um, now the 12 gauge shotgun, it is, for my opinion, as a home defense, um, I really don't recommend it as a home defense being that it is longer than most rifles and stuff like that if you're going to be doing home defense. I really prefer it's more something like a pump shotgun, you know, the, a, the AR, I put it on the checklist as a uh, home defense. Pist the pistols, the two pistols, the 9mm and the 40, I also put those as uh, under the checklist, but the 12 gauge shotgun, I really don't think it will cut it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it will do the job, but it's just uh, the rifle is just so long. And, you know, in my head, you know, if someone's going to break in, you know, you want to swing around the corner ready, you know, prepared. But with that rifle being so long, I don't, I don't see it happen. All right, I finally found out how to, how to do this. What you have to do, let me see, like this. You have to just uh, unscrew this just a little bit, you know, get it loose. And then on here, you just pull up. You just pull up a little bit, you know. And you have your, you know, adjusted cheek rest right here. You got there, a little bit down, all the way down. I usually have it all the way down, you know, when I was shooting it. Um, it's the only way that it felt more comfortable with me, but you know, you decide on how you want that. Um, but like I said, overall, this is this, you know, as far as looks go, um, and function on it. You know, I'm going to give it a go. The only thing I'm not going to give it a go is the reliability, uh, of course. Until we get enough rounds out of here and see if it continues to jam or try some different shells. Um, I do understand that this rifle does recommend uh, shells that has uh, that are 1,300 uh, feet per second. These are 13, 1350, uh, 15s. So, and the other 12 gauge that, well... Yeah, I have that. I have that uh, short clip of the other 12 gauge. Those we we were using uh, 1200. I haven't used the 1200s in here yet to see if it would work or not. But um, I've seen other, like I said, I've seen other reviews on this rifle and and those uh, the 1200 feet per second. They also they also work in this rifle as far as I'm concerned. But um, but I think it's gonna wrap the end of the video. Um, there ain't too much I can really say about this, being that uh. We haven't really used it that much. Um, it is a 12 gauge, uh, two and three. Let me see, two and three quarters, right? Well, on here on the on the magwell, it's gonna say three inch, but it also can use a uh, two and three quarters. That's what these are. But who knows? It could recommend more of uh, the three inch. Let me see. Yeah, two and three quarters what these are. So we could try and use the three inch next time we do uh, shoot this rifle and see how it does. It might do better. Who knows? But until next time, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have the clips at the end of the video when we shot this. And thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time. Click the side button, yeah, that one. Click it down.
That one too. Recording. Ain't bad though. Yeah. It's got a kick to it, but ain't bad. Yeah. Hey, man.